An Indianapolis man now is headed to federal prison for making and selling illegal firearm attachments from his home. John Duran talked with the U.S. Attorney's Office who hopes this conviction sends a message. Micah Moore was sentenced to seven and a half years in federal prison for making homemade machine gun conversion devices using a 3D printer. The U.S. Attorney's Office says those illegal devices turn a semi-automatic gun into a fully automatic machine gun. And unfortunately, a 3D printer um, and you know some time you know looking at, at you know things on the internet that are not helpful, and you're starting to make illegal machine guns at home. And because the barriers to entry are so low, we're seeing more and more people engaging in these crimes and then seeking to profit from them. You know, with just utter disregard to you know the safety of the community. U.S. Attorney Zachary Myers says there are two primary ways people are getting their hands on these devices, making them and purchasing them from out of the country. The devices are so cheap, so widely available, and they're so small. You know, a lot of the things you hear about in the crisis, you know, for example, with fentanyl, that you know that combination and the combination of significant supply overseas and the ease with with which someone can be cr violating the law by doing this at home. So, you know, just naturally, um, more and more of these are being manufactured. Law enforcement says machine gun conversion devices are illegal even if they're not attached to the gun. Getting caught with one could land you in state and federal court. Every time you manufacture one of these, you are making it more likely that ATF, FBI, IMPD, that some law enforcement agency is going to knock at your door and you're going to walk away in handcuffs. It's not worth it. The U.S. Attorney's Office also says Moore was reselling firearms he bought from people off the streets and was making counterfeit prescription pills that contained fentanyl. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News.